Yo, yo, yo guys, welcome to another video, welcome to another full day of eating, that's already 28, so let's get it! It is a new week, a new week, a new day has started, it is Monday for you, it's Wednesdays, but who cares, it is rainy outside. I feel good. Let's start this week off right. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the keto diet in just a second. I'm gonna weigh myself and show my posing footage. But first, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you a fat guy. Here's my physique so far in this mirror. Yes, I'm gaining weight. I'm gaining some good fat. As you can see, I have a big belly. At first, when I started this build, I was like, I don't want to gain fat, I don't want to gain weight, I'm scared of gaining weight because I was so used to the abs, I wanted to look aesthetic, I wanted to look good but now I am comfortable with gaining fat, I feel good with how I look now I don't really care as much of the fat gains as you can see, big ass belly, no abs but who cares right, that's something I wanted to say let's start this week off right and positive, don't be scared with how you look, you look awesome, you are awesome, you are a beautiful person. No matter how you look, you are beautiful. Let's get it guys. See the weight of this week. Okay, okay, okay. 84.6, 84.6 kilograms. I gained a lot of fat last week. I also didn't show my posing footage and my weight. But this week... 84.6 kilograms. I did a keto diet last week, but first here's the posing footage and I'm gonna give my short thoughts on the keto diet. Okay, I just changed up. I'm gonna give my short and honest review of the keto diet. So I've done the keto diet a whole week last week. I had a cheat meal on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, I don't count. I just eat a lot. So my thoughts on the keto diet are mixed. I have mixed thoughts on the keto diet. The meals are delicious, but, 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 but. I'm bulking now and I must say, I was hungry the whole day long, so after a big meal I was still hungry. As you may or may not know, one gram of fat is 9 calories and one gram of carbs is 4 calories. So I can have 2 grams of carbs which is 8 calories instead of one gram of fat which is 9 calories. So I have double the volume for the amount, for the same amount of calories. The biggest positive thing I can say about keto diets, I lost a lot of water weight. As you saw this morning, I weighed in at 84.6. This weight I will show you. So here's my weight this morning. Two weeks ago, I was 84.6. So I'm back at the weight I was two weeks ago. And I will show you this. So I had a big cheat on Wednesdays. I gained like 2-3 kilos and the days after as you can see I dropped 1 kilo again 1 kilo stayed the same the next day and now again 1 kilo. The best thing about keto you lose a lot of water weight. I don't recommend it when you're bulking maybe when you're cutting. So when you're bulking you don't want to have that hunger feeling you want to be satisfied the whole day long. I have mixed thoughts I don't know I would not recommend it when bulking. I miss my carbs, I'm gonna have again carbs, my normal routine, so for this week I'm gonna drop my fat and protein and increase my carbs a bit, so I'm gonna drop my fats from 75 grams of fat to 70 grams of fat and my protein from 180 to 170 and bump my carbs up from 325 to 350. So the calories are the same, 5 grams of fat and 10 grams of 10 grams of protein is like 85 calories in total and 25 grams of carbs is 100 grams. So I'm eating 15 grams more 
but who cares, you know. I'm gonna make my breakfast now. I'm gonna go earlier to the gym today, so I'm gonna make it sim a simple breakfast, so let's get it. I miss my carbs so freaking much. I'm, go I'm craving bread now. I'm gonna have simple bread. I'm gonna make a grilled cheese and like a toast. I'm gonna put like a banana like so on top of it and just eat it like this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, making like a grilled cheese and something with banana. But I will see that in just a second. The fridge is full of options. I'm gonna have like a low fat cheese, low fat cheese and like a meat, meat thing and make a grilled cheese out of it. I will add 25 grams of this low fat cheese. Low fat cheese and then I'm gonna add this turkey meat, turkey meat and just chicken like so on top of it with some mayonnaise ketchup and put that on the toaster and make a simple grilled cheese sandwich. Simple. I have the mayonnaise ketchup, the cheese, now just adding the salami, salami, top it off and grill this bad boy. For the other two slices of bread, I'm gonna spread some or spray some Pam spray on it, like so, both sides. And I will toast these bad boys. I'm gonna toast these. And on the toast, I have here protein powder and some cacao. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water and make a sludge out of it. You know the drill. I'm gonna make a sludge out of this and spread that on the toast and put the banana on top of it. Toast is done. This this is a really good alternative for Nutella or any spread of your choice. Like this is really low calories, low fat and really high in protein. The cacao just gives it a really chocolatey flavor. It is hard to do with one hand, man. <laughs> Whoa! Here's the meal, the meal is done. The grilled cheese with melted cheese. I have the chocolate spread on the banana and toast. A really simple but yet delicious looking meal. Hell yeah. Here is the meal, delicious meal, grilled cheese, banana set, toast, toast with banana and chocolate spread. Here are the macros. Here are the macros for the whole meal. A simple meal but yet delicious. That cheese though, that cheese though. First bite, take a bite guys, take a bite, take a bite. <laughs> I've missed carbs, man. For only one week without carbs, I really missed it. <laughs> you see that crane to the top? That was sick. There it goes. Just kind of and we'll the last bite of the grilled cheese. Oh my god. Brad, I love you, Brad. Mm -mm. So here's the toast with the banana and chocolate spread. Mmm. That's so chocolatey. Would you look at it? Just look at it, man. The last toast. Just look at how much chocolate is on there. The last bite. The plate is done. Now I'm gonna have my fish oil, my multivitamin, and my creatine. As always, and that was my breakfast. Shake it, shake it, shake it! I kept my breakfast small because 
Hopefully this pre-workout will hit me even better like it already does. So I kept my breakfast small because of that. And I'm off to the gym. This week is going to be an awesome week in the gym because I'm going to max out on every single compound movement. So I'm going to max out on deadlift, bench and squat. I haven't maxed out in a long, long time, so I'm really curious to see where my strength is at. So I'm off to the gym now. I'm going to deadlift. I'm going to max out on deadlift. I will let you know afterwards how it went. I'm so curious to see where my strength is at. So let's get it, guys. Wow! Just finished my workout and I'm exhausted. I maxed out on deadlifts. It was an awesome workout. I did back and biceps afterwards. Just a little bit of biceps. I'm exhausted. I'm really exhausted. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to release the video on Monday. I'm going to do a new series where I show you my progress in the gym. I'm going to call it the big tree. I'm going to talk about that in the new video, but I'm going to show you my progress, like weekly progress with bench, deadlifts and squats. So today I maxed out. It was a good workout. I'm not going to spoil it. Check it out on Monday. Be tuned for that. Be on the lookout for that. I'm so freaking exhausted. You can see how wide I am. I'm exhausted and I'm hungry. So I want to get home. I want to make my post-workout meal and devour it. I want to crush my meal. I just want to swallow it. I don't want to taste it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> oh my God. I feel like a newborn baby after that warm shower. It is freaking cold outside. So that warm shower did me good. And also the deadlift just took all my energy, like maxing out. I have not maxed out in a long, long time. So be on the lookout for the video on Monday. I think I'm going to upload it on Monday. I'm going to make my burrito as my post-workout meal. But I don't have black beans. I love black beans in my burrito. It is almost 5 o'clock. So I'm off to the grocery store to buy some beans. And I'm going to make my, my burrito, my post-workout meal. A simple burrito, craving it after a week without carbs. So let's get to the grocery store. Shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we? The grocery store is really close, so I can walk to the grocery store and buy stuff when I need it. That was a big grocery haul. Let's make the burrito. Right here are the black beans. I'm pretty nervous filming outside, but it's all good. I'm making my dinner. I have Brussels sprouts already cooking. I have already made 70 grams of rice. Just simple white rice. Eight grams of olive oil. Spray that in the pan. And I'm gonna cook the chicken in the olive oil. Like so. Here is the tortilla. I'm gonna make the burrito. Have some veggies, avocado, the black beans, and chili sauce. Brussels sprouts are done. The chicken is almost done. Caramelizing the onion. I have here chili pepper and courgette as well. Gonna bake that or we'll go into the burrito. The veggies are done. The chicken is done, crispy. I cut up the avocado. I have here 150 grams of black beans. Just gonna heat them up a bit. And also to the Brussels sprouts, I'm gonna add like this teriyaki sauce. Just a little bit, a little bit and stir that around. Flavor them a bit. Everything is almost done. Everything is done, everything is cooked. The only thing left is making the burrito. So I have everything on the table. I have the veggies here, I have the white rice. I have here avocado cut up, the chicken cut up in pieces, the black beans. I'll add this low fat quark yogurt. And if you know me, you know I love my peanut butter with chicken. Also gonna add that, 20 grams of that. I'm gonna add 100 grams of this yogurt add some rice try and pack it as much as i can crispy nice chicken flavor chicken 
I will add 20 grams of peanut butter, some avocado, the black beans, and then some veggies. The hardest part is wrapping this. This is a big burrito, man. Let's see my wrapping skills. And now I'm gonna just enjoy the leftovers. It's on rice. <clears throat> oh my god, here is the burrito and the Brussels sprouts, teriyaki Brussels sprouts and a big ass burrito. If you just can see the size of this burrito, I almost can't lift it. <laughs> I'm gonna crush this. So yeah, it is freaking massive. I'm not sure how I will eat this. But it's gonna be messy, and I've got the Brussels sprouts. I don't know why people hate Brussels sprouts, but I really enjoy eating them. It is so soggy, it is so, like, soft. <laughs> this is gonna be messy. Damn. Just look how big it is. Look how big it is, man. Mm. It is good though. Here are the calories and macros for this burrito and the Brussels sprouts. Just look how big it is. Massive. Mm. Here it is. It is falling apart, guys. It is really falling apart. Damn, this is gonna fill me up. For real. So messy to eat, but so good. Almost done. The last Brussels sprout. Mmm. A so messy meal, but really good. I'm so sorry if this is messy. But just look at it. Dripping all over the place. My last bite of the burrito. I feel pretty full now. Whew. Satisfied. 10 o'clock at night. I'm gonna finish up my macros with a delicious... Snack. I need to have my snack. I need to hit my sweet tooth of the night. So, you know that thumbnail, thumbnail live. <laughs> I have here a Quest Bar, a s'mores Quest Bar that I've baked. I've baked this Quest Bar for like five minutes. As you can see, it almost like tripled the size of a normal Quest Bar and it's really hard. Just microwave it for like 13 seconds then roll it out and then put it in the oven and just wait for five minutes until the sides are really crispy at the end i spread like 15 grams of a nutella on the quest bar i have here 100 grams of mango mango and i have here 120 grams of this wheat wheat like cereal so this will be my snack of the night and this will finish up all my macros. Milk, I don't like to put milk in the cereal. I just want to enjoy it like this. Just like a snack. Here are the calories for this meal. Delicious snack. I filled up my macros with this. Do this with your, with your Quest Bar. It is really like worth it. It tastes much, much better. And it's really crunchy. Just listen to it. But when you add the Nutella, much better. <laughs> and also I like to have like two different kinds of fruit of the day. So I have here mango, I had the banana in the morning. So the mango. This will fill up all my macros. Here are the total macros of the day. My goal and what I've hit. I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed this FYM. Full day of eating, the bulking mode. So 
delicious meals you can try on your own. Do it, guys. It is really easy. FYM. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Put a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, I hope you had a great day, great night, whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Peace.